Hi, I'm Rie. I'm a tasty producer. Today, I've been challenged to take a common food and make it fancy. Rules are, you must use the food given. You can only add to the food. You can buy whatever ingredients you wish. Okay, let's see what's in it. Drum roll. Boxed cake mix. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of boxed cake mix. My Instagram handle name is the Desert Snob and the Dutch snob doesn't use box cake mix. So I think it's not that fun if you just bake cake and decorate them fancy. So I want to make something very different. I want to change the texture, I want to change the taste. Basically, I want to change everything. <laughs> Hopefully my idea works. Hopefully I can make it fancy. Here's what I got. Heavy cream, dark chocolate, unsalted butter. Next. From the pantry, I got sugar, salt, and of course, Grand Marnier. All right, let's get started. Make it fancy. So first thing, I'm going to chop some butter so it melts faster. I'm gonna keep this wrapper for later. Then one cup of water, and just a pinch of salt. And I'm going to bring this to a boil and meanwhile I'm going to measure out this cake mix. So I'm going to need one and a third cup of box cake mix and sift so it doesn't have any clumps. So it's boiling, I'm gonna add this at once, lower heat. I start smelling this cake mix chemical smell. So in order to eliminate, I'm going to add a little bit of Grand Marnier. Just a little bit, but we will use this later. <laughs> My producer Cyrus kind of asked me if I can not use alcohol, because last episode I used a lot of alcohol, but <laughs> I want to evaporate moisture in the dough. This is ready. Do you hear it? Sounds like a dough boy's belly. I'm going to take off from the heat and cool it down to touch. So I'm going to separate egg whites and egg yolk. And for this, I'm gonna just use yolks. I'm going to use whites later, so I'm going to save it. So if you put eggs into hot dough, egg will cook. So I want to make sure it is cool to touch. So I'm going to add yolks one by one and incorporate. So I'm going for a little bit runny, still not runny, so I'm going to add more yolks. And I'm adding false yolk and a little bit white. It's still a little bit stiff, so I'm gonna add one whole egg instead of just yolk. Nice. The indication is when you scoop a big scoop and when it's kind of like dropping, yeah, it's already there. So this is looking great, so I'm moving on to next step. I got some sugar and measuring this out. It's 200 grams. Sugar goes in the pot. And I have 60 milliliter water. So while it's going, I'm going to measure out 200 grams of egg whites. And I just have to wait my syrup to get boiled. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to move on to the next step. So this is the butter wrapper I was saving for. So now I'm adding sugar, coating this ramekin, and set them aside. Okay, let's check the temperature, 240. I'm gonna start whisking this egg whites and I'm going to slowly pour the syrup. So I'm going to whisk this until stiff peak. I think it's good. I'm gonna stop adding this to in a bowl. So we got the dough mixture. I'm gonna add like two scoop just to incorporate. And then I'm going to add back to the whites. This might make more than two. You can have a fancy party. I'm kind of going for homogeneous texture. Now I'm gonna pour this in a ramekin. I might made more than enough. <laughs> Scrape, make it nice and even. You kind of wanna make a line. It helps it rise. 
Oven temperature is 375. I'm gonna bake it for 20 to 30 minutes. So now I'm going to go next step. I will need two third cup of heavy cream and bring it to a boil. While it's heating, I'm gonna just like break some chocolate. I am using dark chocolate, 72%, because cake mix already have a lot of sugar, so I don't want to add any more sweet. It's all about balance, you know, like texture, flavor, life. So it starts boiling, so I'm gonna add chocolate. I just have to melt this into heavy cream and make it kind of smooth texture. Once it's kind of thickened, it's done. Yeah, it's good. Now it's fancy time. Grab my A. One tablespoon to start. <laughs> I think chocolate and alcohol goes well, and uh, especially Grand Marnier, it's orange cognac. So chocolate and orange goes well, in my opinion. So this is a great liquor for this dessert. So just to make it fancy, I'm gonna put this little pitcher. Now I'm gonna pull them from the oven. Look, look at this. <laughs> I wasn't gonna make it giant, but happened to be giant. So look at Alvin Carl's oil. I'm going to finish this up. I found some powdered sugar. Kind of want to poke a hole and add chocolate inside. And I'm done. Mm. Super fancy. Welcome, Aria. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> I recommend you to pour okay, chocolate. Okay, pour the chocolate in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. That's great. Yay! Can you guess what is the key ingredient in here? Uh, the tuna? <laughs> I don't know. I, I could believe that you could make this. You got it. <laughs> box cake mix. Box cake? You made this with box cake? Yeah. And you made it fancy. Mm -hmm. Can I do the dance with you? Yes! Yes, okay, so you please show me. I, okay. I've always wanted to do this. Left to right, so make it fancy. And you kind of have to have a hip. Oh, a little hit his hip. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Did you have your hand, do you have your hand on this? Yeah. Seat? Okay, okay. Three, two, one. Make, make it, it fancy. fancy. Yes! This is great. <laughs> this is so good. Yay! Ma, did I make it fancy? Oh, you made it fancy. Yeah. You want to do that? Three, two, one. Make, make it, it fancy. fancy. <laughs> As always, the huge bite. Mmm, <laughs> mm, make it fancy. Yes. What could you make into a souffle cereal? Box cake mix. Oh, wow! I like to eat. Mm. Eating <laughs> is one of life's only pleasures. <laughs> make, make it fancy. fancy. Thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to make a home. If you do, tag me on the Instagram. And until next time, make it fancy. <laughs>